So I wanted to go over the Sony wireless microphone system that we have. Um, first things first, what you're seeing there is the, uh, the receiver, and this is the body pack. So you want to make sure that you have batteries in them. There's two little buttons on the side. Makes this slide out. Peel back. You put your batteries in. Both the body pack and the receiver work the same way with the batteries on the hand mic. You just unscrew this and pop your batteries in. Make sure you have them facing the right way. And now we're going to set them up. Uh, so we're going to set them up on our correct frequency. Gonna hold the power button to turn it on. The menu system is fairly simple. You hit up, you hit the plus and minus button to go up and down. And then you hold the set button to select whatever it is in there and plus and minus to change that set to make that change stick. Now everyone was should have received an email with your frequencies depicted on there. If for some reason you have trouble finding your frequency, just ask me, Doug, or Vince. Okay, once you find uh, your wireless designation, uh, the first thing you want to check is what TV group you're in. So the camera I'm setting up right now is in TV group 18. To check that, you come to your menu and you'll come down to band. This is TV 14 to 17. I'm in group 18, so I need to change that. Hold set. I'm going to arrow up to TV 18 to 21. 18, I fall within that range. Hit set to select. Now I'm going to go back up and change my frequency. So I'll hold set and the zeros are flashing. That's the number I want to change to 18. Group 18 is what that means. Now I've got that. I hit set. And now I'm moving over to my frequency. The frequency that I am looking for is 494500. So 494, the frequency I'm looking for is 494500. Go up to that. And there it is. Just hit set. Now that I have my receiver set up, I'm going to pull out my microphone. And both microphones work the same way. Um, first off, we want to turn them on. Now that I've turned it on, I'm going to go back to the receiver. I'm going to arrow down through my settings and find where it says sync receiver to transmitter. I'm going to hold set until the yes starts to flash. And I'm going to hit set again. Now as that's going, I touch this end to this end. When I do, it vibrates and I get a little thing on both screens that say complete. They are now both set to the same frequency. And you would do the same thing with your hand mic. Here's the end that you're looking for on this one. And again, you'll touch that as close as you can to this end and it'll vibrate whenever it's done. One thing about these mics is it defaults to auto uh, when it's fresh out of the box. Auto gain, we don't want auto gain. Auto gain is going to pick up all kinds of background noise. So we're just going to go down and arrow down to gain mode. It says auto gain mode. Hold set and change to normal. Hit set and now you're good to go. A couple of things to keep in mind is Check these little bars over here on the side. Those little bars tell you uh, if you're picking up any uh, frequencies already on that channel. So right now I know I have my mic off, um, but I'm clearly picking something up there. I might find a little bit of uh, interference. If that is the case, I should probably switch to my secondary uh, channel that's been marked for me. Um, now when I do turn the mic on, You'll see those bars are now pegged all the way up. And also, this little bar on the left 
that's bouncing around up there as I tap on the microphone. That's showing you the audio levels as well. So if you know you have your mic on, but you're not seeing anything there, maybe your mic's on the wrong channel, or maybe you're being stepped on. Now that you have your microphone set up, make sure you do it to both your hand mic and your body pack. Um, and important to remember, do not forget to turn them off. That goes for your body pack, your hand mic, and your receiver. That's something new for us. Hope this helps.